Tervetula. Welcome to the Off Air Show with Bemi and Tus. The same one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was welcome in Finnish, by the way. So if you're trying to up your languages, you're welcome. Y'all are um, finished. <laughs> <laughs> My own has not finished in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right. So let's get into it. We've got a lot to get get into this episode. We've got fan yeah. mail. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think we should start with the fan mail. Okay. I read last week's one, so you should read this week's. This one is very juicy. So let's see. Hello, Tools and Bimi. I love you guys so much and I love always you too, love girl. your show. I need advice at this stage of my life and I don't have anyone to talk to, no big sister or anyone. We got you. We got you. So, it's concerning my relationship. I've been dating this guy for five years. We met in school. We graduated in 2020. He's a good guy, caring and all. But I've caught him cheating more than five times. I hacked his WhatsApp and I see his messages. We live very close to each other. I spend most of most times in his place. Whenever I'm not in his place, please listen to this. He chats different hookup girls up and makes plans with them to come and have sex with him. Seeing all this has broken me down. Today will make it one year of hacking his phone. I'm just so confused. At first, I thought he would stop all this, but he's still doing this act till now. He doesn't know I know what's all he's doing behind my back. He has cheated in the past too. I caught him. He begged and begged me. Whenever he gets caught, he always begs and tells me how much he loves me. Now I'm stuck. Sh- why? Should I leave this relationship or what should I do? I'm tired of crying because of what I see on his WhatsApp. It's so painful. Should I end this five-year relationship no, with don't, him? Don't, don't, don't. Please. Enjoy. I it. I have it. First of all, Demar. please advise me. Hello. Please advise me, baby, and tools. Thank you. I forgot to add, he'll be 30 this year and I'm 25. So Please. she's been she's been with him for five years. Five years. So how the hell did you spend the first five years of your twenties in a relationship? She's doing a course. She's doing a course. She's doing a good course. Is it a course punishment course? It's a course on suffering. So uh, I'm I I don't I'm 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 trying to understand what she is thinking she will achieve. By staying with him? Yes. She I mean, what change. is the, this? Is somebody that she's afraid? I've been there. She's afraid of starting, starting all over. again. You understand? Yeah. And I wish I knew what I know now because I was also kind of in the same predicament. After dating someone, it wasn't this long, but I was just thinking, oh my God, am I going to start all over Back again? Back on the streets, on the grimy streets of And I Lagos? was just 25 or 24. So, girl, well, you know what? I feel like we always give the advice first. I think the guy should give yeah. her advice. Should she stay with him? Mm-hmm. Yes. Marry safe. Yes. Really? Well, I have a suggestion. They are what? being sarcastic. Oh, no, not being sarcastic. Go on then. <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay with him. Uh-huh. They can't make a sex tape with me. Uh-uh, I don't show yes, you. Please, this is the video what is wrong with you? He was here! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how to do anything. Why not? Okay, as as then guy, as then guy, what should she do? Of course she has to leave him now. That, that's, that's... What kind of advice you want? No, you know what? I'm saying, you know what? You know what? It's so, it's, uh-huh. She's staying with someone that is cheating continuously. She I'm has just, all the proof. She has yeah, all, all the, the, the receipts. So so here's what I feel like, look. If cheating is not a deal breaker for you, Stay, but obviously it is killing you. She's crying. She's upset. She, I, you are I just don't. You, not, know, you know she's very strong. You've hacked this person's WhatsApp for one whole oh, year, yeah. and you have been saying all the atrocities, yes, yes, but you are keeping quiet. Why? First, well, I wanted to wish her happy birthday on like her hacking abilities, because one year you've kept a secret for that long. Yes. Shout out to you, but... <laughs> and said, oh, something, and, and this is something that um, somebody told me that I'm like, okay, very true. A lot of people think that, okay, you're dating somebody and there are one or two issues. Oh, we're going to get married and that will solve everything. No, no. That is not true. Whatever issues that you're dealing with as a, as in a relationship, these are the same issues. If you don't mm-hmm. solve them, that you'll be dealing with in a marriage. So... I mean, I don't know why what you want us to say. She says she's because been with him. I think because is she feels like she's invested so much time because yeah, she's been with him since for five years. But babe, that doesn't mean anything. You've been right. you've been rewarded with a lot of misery. It's not a project, no. So I just if you if you know that if you know that everything that he's doing and the crying that you're crying, maybe the crying is helping you lose weight. Maybe it's making you feel, you know, I don't know. If you feel that that's something that you can actually do for the next 20, 30, 40 years, by all means. 
good luck. But you know but what bothers me is that she says this guy keeps arranging with hookup girls. So basically, in a roundabout way, girls who have sex for money. Yeah. Basically. So do you know how many people that these women are having sex, sex with? with? I'm not trying to demonize them or anything. That's their line of work. Good luck to them. Now, this person is having sex with these hookup girls. He might not be using protection and he's coming to you. Mm. Sis, have you heard of all sorts of diseases? STDs. STDs, all mm. sorts of things. You might be thinking it's just a mere yeast infection. This man is giving you all sorts. Let's just say let's just say let's just say As that they're using age. let's say that they're using you know protection while mm. they're sleeping together. Yes, you you get married to him. You know, wow. you're gonna want to have babies. You can't, well, I mean, some people end up having babies while using condom, but that's another story. Um, but you, you're, you open yourself to like a lot of potential, you know, diseases. Mm. I don't like, I don't know what else. I don't know if there's another way for, I, th- I feel like you know what you should do, but maybe the fear of like, when you said starting again and everything, maybe that's a bit much for you. I don't know. Maybe. Every th- day is a new beginning. My dear. Do you understand? I don't think it's, I don't think it's worth it. I don't are not it. a tree. Like yeah. you can move, when and I'm just saying. I see. You know what? And she sent Amen. it from her profile picture. You're a pretty girl. Yeah. You can do so much better. No, no, no. no. We stay I'm away from her. You no. stay away from her. We can't call. We can't cause as much pain as she's so, already So exactly. you want you want that pain. You want her to jump out of the fire and into the frying pan. No, no. The three you men here, <laughs> no, see, the three men here are looking for heartbroken pussy. When That's what it is. It's regret that was, so that she's like, when you finish, she can tell you, oh, thank, thank you. You, <laughs> you are awful. Oh, wow. So, this is why we don't always get them to contribute <laughs> because they're rotten. They're rotten to the core. That's why we don't always get them to contribute. At least I won't be the last for five years. That was but, 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 but in their defense, in their defense, they're very pure with their rottenness. <laughs> so, from the get go, they're honest. They're a rare I'm breed. They're a rare breed. They're this honest fuckboys. I said you guys are a rare breed. You're honest fuckboys. So, you know. I'm pleased. No, 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 no,
I bought the idea. What did he say to you? What exactly did he say to you? So if I say, yeah, <laughs> no, like, did, did he come out straight and say, okay, this is what it is, or did he try and package well, it as something well, else? Well, he's, he's younger, so we're not exactly close. He's mm-hmm. friends with my mm-hmm. younger sister, so mm-hmm. um, he told my sister to tell me um, if I'm interested, he's ready to put me through, yeah. Okay. Which kind of scamming was it? Was it, you know, the is it the compromise email? Was it Love just scam. you know those people that you know I'm calling from your bank and <laughs> zin, 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 zin. we need no, your pin no, number. No, not that. that. I think that's a little too cheap. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, he does oh, highbrow, yeah. You no, know, I'm just saying. Wow, <laughs> level, yeah. level. No, I mean, he does like high, it's not even the Yahoo. Is you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so what, what was your? Was, what did you do? It was um, it was love based. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so you're yelling to him. You do. That's well, I'm getting well, well, wait, 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 so Hassan, what you love? I was like, into the ears of foreign women. I was well, young, I mean, Michael of ninety the, days. This, this. <laughs> My <Yeah. kid. laughs> um, So how does it work? Hi, hi. Oh, I like your picture. It is. It's see. pretty as basic as that. Yeah. Okay. Just get on the conversation and. Um, this is why I never, I too. have never answered any random DMs yeah. in my Instagram. I don't care how handsome you are. I don't care. I, I've never, like, even known people with their tick and everything have DMs me, and I never. Really? I just, I'm just not. No. If you want, if, like, if you want to be friends, we will meet in person. No. <laughs> that works. I mean, I'm very. I mean, I, I don't know if you know. I'm very, very guarded. So you like, think? there's a whole wall. <laughs> there's a whole wall. Like I would never say. So mm. did you? Did you? Um, were you successful? I imagine okay. you were. But what? When did you achieve your first? Should I say success? Well, I'd like to think that I have a heart okay. somewhere. Yes. So, <laughs> you're rude. Your boy was supposed to get Well, yeah, I know, right? So, so, wait, wait, so wait, wait, let me get you this. Tell me when I fell in love. You have a heart. It is falling in love. You have a heart. You have a heart. <laughs> <laughs> so what yeah, happened? Yeah, okay, so what happened was, um, I did it for a bit. I had to travel out of the country. Yeah, did, was, did you yeah, not get any success? No, I didn't. Okay, all right. I... I <laughs> Stopped halfway, yeah. Your heart came when you say you had to travel out of the country, was that your own whatever, or you were going to meet? I was going people? to learn. Oh, to let wait. Uh, so you went for international studies in Yahoo. They have a they have a British. Can I get the country? Can I get the country? It's Turkey. Singapore. 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 Oh, Where? No, Which no, country? In Africa, right? Yeah. Ghana. Where? Yeah, Ghana. Oh, I know it. I know it's of course they have, West Coast. Uh, so well, they, have, they have apprenticeship in Ghana. Yeah, I'm confused. So you start in Niger. You don't. And then okay, you start okay, talking. It depends. Like, like you know, I have no idea. So yeah, I get yeah. it. It depends though. Um there are people who have offices here. Uh-huh. Okay. There are people, also well, office. Yeah, that's what it's a called. business now. That's what it's called. Um HK office. So um you recruit boys. Um who are willing and able mm-hmm. uh, to work shifts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So is it like she an like actual fintech. office? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. She, she says like no. fintech. No, like, I think people always think oh, that... Um, I know it's like someone's basement or something. I feel like something. they falsely um, refer to things like Yahoo, Yahoo as easy money. They it's work. not easy. It, it's, it's really not easy. What's the process? The process that they went, they go through is hard. Now, is this money acquired through legal means or moral means? No, but is it easy? No. No, it's not easy. Mm. So the process is this. You arrive at the office. Uh-huh. Someone puts you through. Okay, it's like, um, like you have a secondary school where mm. there's a head boy mm-hmm. who knows the ropes and um, has had some successes. So he puts you through on um, what sets an account up for you and um, walk you through that process. Okay. Were there women involved in this? No. None that I... Directly? No. Okay. Directly, no, yeah. Okay. okay. So, but you had people pretending to be women? Well, yes. Okay. 
it, it depends on the profile you create, yes. So yeah, there are so profiles for males and there are profiles for females. Yeah, so, so dramatic. You... you said, well, yes. <laughs> 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 Have you considered that acting, bro? <laughs> oh, he, he, he does. Ah, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, yeah, there are females okay. involved and there are people who... Um, do that, play the role if need be. So when you're working at the office, um, I'm sure, you know, stories were told and maybe there was like, I don't know, the star like employee who had like well, made a lot of money. So was there that person who just seemed to just be amazing at it? Yeah, there was one guy. And how much was he sort of making? Can I remember that now? Okay, let me see. <clears throat> he made he made some money. Um, okay, so it's in stages, yeah? Mm. Um, it's kind of like you're bleeding someone. So you just keep asking for more, keep asking for well, more. Yeah, you yeah. create scenarios to ask for more. Hmm. Yeah, so, so, for example, um, I think I was reading a report, and that's something that um, that Hush Puppy and his people did. When they were scamming, is it the guy that wanted to build a school in Qatar? And they were like, oh, you need to send us this. So he sent it. And then, so once you send that, yeah. once you send the initial money, mm -hmm. then it's like they keep working you, working you, and they're like, oh, um, yeah, but the, mo the money that you sent is being held. We need legal fees to that release. Da, 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 da. You send some more. That's how it So works. by the time you actually, it dawns on you that, wait a second, this might be something funny. You've already spent so much money and you don't want to believe that you were scammed. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've, um, there's, there's a book that I read that um, a guy was like giving his account and everything and, and it's pretty much similar to this. They just kind of keep bleeding you. So this person, do, do, you, do you remember, do you have like any idea at all like about the amount of money they made? In my presence, I think it made like two million at that um, little period. Mm -hmm. One yeah. go, wow. Yeah, yeah Naira. Um, what did he tell the person? Okay. Um, this thing's a little bit confidential. Ah. I mean, you're already here. You, so. No, not, not <laughs> confidential. For my drinks, for my drinks. <laughs> confidential in the office. Yeah. Okay, so you, yeah. you won't want to give like trade secrets. Yeah, you know, right. so someone else doesn't, you know, get in the way of your um, client. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So when you traveled, so, what was the plan, really? <sighs> The plan was to go make money. The plan was your plan was shall not pure. Whether you stay in Nigeria, you're going to do your own. Whether you travel, you're going to do love. Well, the person, so the I person who's, marry you. Well, the person who's going to teach you doesn't stay here, so oh. you have to come to his base. That's how it is. Yeah. Oh okay. okay. So if he had an office here in Nigeria, I probably wouldn't have to travel. Mm. Yeah. It's just the way he says office. Were well, you just, made to you know, like swear allegiance or anything? And all those mm. things. Were you made to do oaths and stuff? I'm just curious. Because Oloturi comes to mind, so I don't know yeah. why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what, for some offices, like the stories I heard, mm -hmm. um, people swear that. Mm -hmm. um, but since I was kind of family, mm -hmm. I didn't need to do that. Okay. Yeah, so... So how did you tell the person who brought you in, your mentor, yeah. to say, bros, I'm not doing it again? Oh, well... I am the brass, so okay, he well, listens to me. Um, yeah. We had a fallout. Ah, okay, so yeah. the thing was, uh, not exactly a fallout, but the person, the star guy, mm -hmm. um, he, there's something called diversion of work. Okay. So what he tried to do mm -hmm. was divert that client that was paying, that pain client. Mm -hmm. People are greedy. Mm -hmm. In the greed, they're greedy. Mm -hmm. So he tried to divert the client so it doesn't bring money. Well, if the client brings money and the boss is involved, mm -hmm. there's going to have to be a split. split yeah. yeah. So when you divert it, you kind of like just corner everything to yourself. Mm -hmm. So that came up and um, the guy found out and it was horrible. Oh. Yes, it was really horrible. And uh, I didn't find that funny in the sense that he tried to rope me in okay that i'm aware of the diversion and I all that see. stuff um that in fact the street is greedy mm. the street and everybody's trying to protect their backs mm. nobody trusts anybody and i really can't work like that so uh that was part of what 
Maybe okay, still... you you were expecting honor. <laughs> well, amongst thieves, it's honor. <laughs> no, 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 no. After we robbed the bank, then we sort ourselves out. So we, after we, and I'm just thinking that yeah. the amount of effort that goes into this. What if the person put the people that are behind this? What if they put all that effort into something that's legitimate? You know, like they actually have like an office space, right? Yeah. So is it, I don't know, is it like a house? I'm coming, yeah, like what? I don't know. I mean, the country's like frustrating legit, everybody. Like business. That's like POS business or something like that. Wow. <laughs> Compared to... Uh-huh. Compared to uh-huh. At, least, at least you wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be constantly like looking over your shoulder and stuff. Were there well, any cases where police was like, almost caught up with some people or people were arrested okay. or as a, when i was there mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. but it's um it's a usual story for them um, the ghana police uh have their eyes peeled out for nigerian guys okay yeah and uh, nigerians are quite flashy so you can easily spot them out okay and uh <laughs> stupid people. <laughs> spot them out and trace them to the house aha uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You follow they follow them to the house and then burst the place mm-hmm. and read search their pick devices up everybody, yeah, and stuff and like that. And then you can get to sort yourself out or something. But but you have a point there. I mean, I I still think that that's one of the reasons that you know Hush Puppy actually the reason that Hush Puppy was caught. Mm-hmm. I think if he'd you know been Made low, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kept, it would have taken it a, bit, a bit longer to. Bust it was it was it yeah. was like a some some weird kind of sickness like to just show yeah, but, to show off but that's so much. that's what free money does to you mm. it opens you up to potentials you don't know you had yeah. free money wow. you always sure it'll come so you want to spend you want to blow it up and, and that's it so how sure are you that you're not going to go back mm. nah i'm not okay I'm not. so what if somebody comes to you on a higher level like the hush puppy type of level Okay. That was a, that was a pause. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Um, I have to, I have to think about what I have to say. <laughs> because, no, 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 not because I want to be, um, you know, this. correct. Uh, I, <laughs> it's some sort of conviction, yeah. Mm. I, I know now what I can do and what I can't do, what I want to do and what I don't want to do. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah. Essentially, let me translate what he said. I will, right, cons- I will right consider amount. the offer. For the right, <laughs> for the right amount. Right that's, yeah, what that's, that's what you that's said. What you heard. That's what you said in the roundabout. Not I will think exactly. about what I would say to them, but today I would consider the offer. No, not exactly. So, Sorry. being that you have experienced this, yeah. you've seen all. You know that you've seen. You've seen a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any advice for anyone who is considering this that line of work? Well, it's hard to say. Because um, the environment is not um, supporting a lot of people who want to do Honest legit work. stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I really, I really can't say. You can say. One I mean, thing I, I like your honesty. I like yeah. that you're being honest. You can actually say one thing now to someone, mm. and then they go home and find out they don't have food to eat, mm. and something strikes harder than it struck before. Mm. The advice you give them right now is going to fly out, and then they're going to do what they want to do. Okay, so do what you want, man. That's I mean, that's pretty much what you're saying. As long as, yeah, as, long as you're be okay, prepared for the consequences. Yeah, yeah. of course, yeah. there are consequences. Yep, 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 so, yep. If you can right. handle Thank it, you. You're right. welcome. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. Um, it was My quite pleasure. insightful, um, and we hope that you're able to stay on straight and narrow, and we don't end up seeing you. This is worry, <laughs> aka Big Flosser, <laughs> or something like that. So welcome back. Thank you to Richard for stopping by and giving us um, that very interesting uh, story. Now let's talk about this story that has been circulating on social media for some time. There's this closed Facebook page where I think they're called Super, Super Moms, Moms or something, mm. and a, a mom came in there to basically tell the other moms or ask for their advice. Um, she had a, she was a single mom. She has, she has a 15 year old a daughter, and then she found out, and then she remarried. And she found out that the husband she married was actually raping, not let me say sleeping because she's a minor, she's a minor. raping her 15 year old daughter. 
and she was asking for advice on what to do which again is mind-boggling to me and then if you see the disgusting dirty stupid advice that these women were giving her many people were of the opinion that she should send the daughter away that she spoiled that why is she already sleeping with men at that age i mean and if i didn't see these screenshots myself i would have said it was a lie and you know i'm scandalized that in 2022 people are still thinking this way I mean, are you some people were like, oh, before you send her, we discipline her because how can she be sleeping with your husband and blah, blah, blah. Not one. I'm sh well, I, I hope that there was um, there were people who had common sense in that group who were saying, report this man to the authorities, keep mm. him away from your family, leave him alone, severe all ties with him. Because what we saw was like the worst of the worst advice. Yeah. Um, so I did um, the, the group, they're also on Instagram and then they did put out a statement saying that um, basically these are these are people that do not represent the entire group, that these are just like a, a few, I guess, bad apples or whatever, that they don't re represent the entire group. Um, now, what's scary is this poor girl is probably going through something horrible. Mm going through something horrible and the person that should stand up for her is now protect getting her. yes stand up for her protect her with her life is now getting advice from these horrible people saying don't let her don't let don't let your daughter drive you away from your home blah 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 blah, blah all of these and, I'm, and i read it and i was so sad and i was so sad and for a second i was just like okay let me just try to understand why they would say that and I think that um, a lot of them, a lot of them, it probably is coming from a financial point of view. They're going to have to, she's going to leave, uh, she's going to leave this husband. She's going to have to set up by herself. She's already got a child who's going to want, you know, you know that whole who's going to want me. I already have a child, blah, 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 all of that. But I, it just made me so, so very sad because I, I just, how, how much are you supposed to tolerate how much are you supposed to just, you know, in, in, in the whole idea of, you know, keeping yourself together, what are people going to say, blah, 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 blah. It was very sad. It was very sad to read these comments. And what's even sadder is that we know that there are people in that situation. Of course. In that situation. There was one comment that I read that I just, I nearly threw up where the woman said, hey, it's not uncommon um, for, for, for men to be sleeping with their stepdaughters, That's blah, blah, blah. Disgusting. And I was just like... That like that is how you you end up with a very 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 traumatized individual. I think you know? that at the root of the whole thing is you know the idea that keeping a man, you know, by all means necessary yeah. is the ideal way to live. No matter what this person is doing to you, or that the man is the prize, this and that. Yes. I'm not trying to say that marriage is not a beautiful thing and everything, but if this if the cost of keeping this marriage is at the expense of the peace of mind of your child or yourself or your family member or whatever it is, if you are basically getting, you're, you're, you're prepared to stay married to an abuser just so that you can continue to be Mrs. So and so. I mean, it doesn't, it no, doesn't, no, there's, there was, somebody told me a story once about how, um, this woman had had, um, a child when she was, I think 18, 19 or something. Mm -hmm. And she'd had a child, um, with, I think it was like a one night stand or, or something. Okay. So she'd had a child and obviously the father wasn't in the picture. Yeah. And, um, later on, later on, she met somebody and she wanted to get married. You know, they, they had a relationship. They, she, she wanted to get married and, the guy didn't want the child. The child in the house. Yeah, like I read just, that. And, I read that. And this is, and she she sent her daughter away because she wanted to marry. Yeah, so she sent her her daughter to um to stay with the father because she wanted to marry this guy, and I was like, that is that is, is a level of rejection that the poor girl's never going to get over. Mm -hmm. Like your mom wanted to be with this guy so much that she just discarded you and. I think I think people definitely need to do better. And this whole idea of I, I hate that the way this society just constantly makes women feel that they have to give up so much to keep the prize, like you said, to keep mm. the prize as a man. Oh, he's beating you, yeah, but you don't want to start again. Ah, you know you have like two, three kids, you don't want to start again, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, is is the is option B really better? Is option B really, really better? So this was this, this broke my heart. Because I was thinking, this girl did not want this to happen. This girl did not want this to happen. This happened, and you, as her mom, you are supposed to Protect basically her. pull out a knife and hold it to his balls. 
you know, you're on your Facebook group saying, <laughs> what should I do? Du, 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 du. And what, why? You shouldn't even be asking what you should, what you need uh, to do. Give it's me just, it's just, I don't know. It was, it was, it was very sad. And I wanted to find these women. I wanted to find them. And I don't support internet bullying. I don't mm-hmm. support that. But those women deserve to be bullied. They deserve to be bullied. They deserve to really, really, really think about what they put out there. And they deserve to just have their brains taken out and washed. And I don't know. Mm. It was very upsetting. Very, very upsetting. And then something else. Another story that was um, uh, circulating a few days ago was uh, the story of this young lady called Mm. Zainab. Yeah. Um, She went to Zanzibar for her birthday. She traveled by herself. She Mm. went to Zanzibar for her birthday. And um, she was very excited to go on the trip. Um, She, I think it was her first night in her room. Mm-hmm. She woke up in the middle of the night to find somebody touching her. Yeah. Somebody touching her and she initially thought she was dreaming. And then the person kept touching her and she was like, oh shit, I'm not dreaming. Somebody is in my room. And she I th- she put out the lights she, so she couldn't see them. She said she could just smell them. And eventually she kept on saying HIV, HIV, AIDS, you know, basically telling the guy, I have HIV, don't, you know, don't rape me. And um, I think he then, because he couldn't speak English. Yeah, he could only speak Swahili. Then, yeah, then I think she sort of said something along the lines where she told him to go and get a condom or something. Mm. But anyhow, she was able to um, escape that horrible situation. She later found out that some money um, was taken from her. Um, she stayed at a hotel called, is it Wairere Beach? Mm-hmm. Wairere Beach Hotel. She stayed there. So obviously she ran out of her room as soon as she could. Um, she went to, I think, her next door neighbors and she said, this is what happened. This was in the middle of the night, of course. This is what happened somebody tried to rape me in my room blah 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 and um long story short she contacted um the hotel uh, management and they were not very helpful she ended up going to the police again they were not very helpful and um essentially they just kind of basically insinuated that she made the whole thing up Mm. um she said that this happened last year but she was so traumatized and she had to go through therapy Mm. before she was able to speak about it um, this this story was it was I I read it and I had chills. Um, I love traveling. I love traveling. I've been to Zanzibar. My trip to Zanzibar was one of the best trips of my life. I really really enjoyed it. And um, this this story is why I rarely travel by myself. Hmm. Um, and it shouldn't be that way because as a woman you should be able to do whatever you want. You should yeah. be able to travel wherever you want mm-hmm. without the fear of is somebody going to break into my hotel room. Um, is somebody going to do this? Is somebody going to do that? Am I going to just God forbid anything happen? Am I going to get the right support? So obviously this didn't happen. Now what I do love is you know Nigerians are very powerful on Twitter. Mm-hmm. They dragged the hell out of the hotel. Mm-hmm. They um the is it reviews on um is it TripAdvisor? Trip Advisor. They went. They scattered the place. I think it went from a four point five to, to one. like a one point something, and mm-hmm. they kept going. Um, in, and they kept going till the hotel released a statement. And I think even the Zanzibar Tourism Board released a statement as well. And they said they, they were going to investigate this issue. But what do you think about it? Um, first of all, I was going to say that she actually did say that the first thing she did was look around the room. Usually there should be a phone or something yeah, yeah, in the room. There was no phone to call the reception. So then she was afraid of leaving her room. And then eventually when she someone courage to leave her room, she went to the reception. There was nobody there. She went to, and before she now decided to, you know, reach out to the cop, the Russian couple that were her, you know, next door neighbors per se. And, and apparently she had met them earlier on in mm. the day and everything. I think it is very, very scary because I have traveled very often on my own to different parts of the world. Um, and it is not a case of, this is not the time for anybody to tell women or any woman to say, oh, to be safe, don't travel alone. This is a time for you to put pressure and speak to your fellow, um, the people who are causing the world to be unsafe for women to even mm-hmm. just exist. Because now women get raped in their homes. Yeah. They get raped in their hostels. They get raped when they travel abroad. They get attacked and whatever. But who is doing it? Is it women doing this to women? No. So how about you face the people who are actually mm. making themselves predators? This is not the time for you to tell women, oh, you know, just to be safe, don't travel alone, or don't wear this mini skirt, or don't do this and that. No, that's not the point. And I'm, I was also very disappointed that they, they've now deleted this statement, but the hotel re- um, released it it's saying very that... very wishy-washy. Oh, they were like, oh, that's all. Oh, what happened was that they identified the person and the person said that it was supposed to be consensual sex 
between well, and wait now there was supposed to be consensual <laughs> sex People that smell between kind of himself consensual. and this Zainab girl <laughs> and that she said that he should go get a condom and that when he went to get a condom and, and when he came back is when she became hysterical and started blaming and started claiming that he was trying to rape her also they claimed that she um, they, they wanted to pursue the case further, like go through the courts, but that she allegedly asked for $10,000 compensation and that if she was not going to get $10,000 compensation, that she was going to take it online and start to and make a big deal out of it or whatever. And they, they started saying, oh, as a female-owned um, establishment, yes, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. They later deleted it. And I hope that she gets as much compensation as okay. she wants. Because I cannot imagine, you know, spending my hard head co- earn coins in your country or wherever it is and then i wake up to somebody pressing my neck in the middle of the night and trying to give me what i did not ask for mm. i mean i just think it's really ridiculous because apart from the fact that the person was groping her the person to strangle her. is just trying, trying to strangle her a couple of times and then she now started shouting hiv and, and that was when he paused because i guess he he recognized the whole um yeah you know i, I just um, feel that it's, it's it's so scary it's scary enough to be a woman in this world so, you know, Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was going to say there was something else that I was going to add, and that was that um, a lot of people insinuated that there's certain African countries mm-hmm. that treat in situations like this they would treat white people differently, mm-hmm. and I do believe that. Um, there was another. There, there was an into this. So there's a girl that I follow. I think she is. She's like an influencer. You know how you just follow random people. Yeah. yeah. So she went to Kenya. Mm-hmm. She went to Kenya and um, she she was there with her friend, I believe. Mm-hmm. So they, they had some money. So they'd gone in, checked in and everything. And then they went back and then they realized the money was missing. And I think it was just the, the people that had taken their bags up that the, mm-hmm. the, the been in their room. So the next thing, she now went to social media because I think she tried to like um, to go to the management to say this and this is what happened. And then they didn't take her seriously. They're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so she went to social media and she said, okay, this is what happened. We were in the room. We left the room. This person, and I think she even saw somebody like almost like leave the, mm. the side of their room or something. And then the next thing, the next thing is we see her, she put out a statement saying, um, I apologize for what I did, blah, 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 blah. I should have let the hotel management handle it, this and this and this. And I read that and I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's being forced to write this. This girl's being forced to write this. So there, see, if, if your country relies heavily on, on tourism, tourism, you need to get your shit together. Zanzibar is somewhere that people from all over and I go wanted to, to visit. go. No, I don't know if I want to go. No, there I, again, I would. No. I I had like I I was the um the the where I stayed. I can't remember the name of the hotel, but I had a fantastic time. The people there were nice. I felt safe. I am the kind of person if I don't feel safe, you don't deserve my money. Mm. You don't deserve my money. I'm not going to come there. There are only a handful of places. There there's some countries that I'm like I will never go to this country because I've read so many horrible things. And I'm scared of what could possibly happen. And God forbid anything happen. I'm scared of the kind of support I would receive as well. So there's certain countries that they might be pretty, whatever. But I'm like, I'm never going there. You don't deserve my money. And this story brought about lots of women who have traveled alone, um, mm. giving their own experiences from the lady who said she went to India. Mm. And, you know, there was somebody in her room at 2 a.m. just staring at her to so many different instances, people saying different things. I didn't have that experience or how, because eh, I always lock everywhere. You know that chain thing at the mm. back of I always lock everywhere. However, how they, I how mean, did they get access? How did that guy get access to I her don't room? No, but I'm just gonna. I think it probably works. I, yeah, yeah no, but, but there's so many women there. who have come forward. You know, definitely. and it's not just abroad, but even within Nigeria, okay, yeah, who have said that. that people just gain access to their room and yeah. then they're like. Can but, I help you? What are you doing here? Oh, and the person will say, oh, room service. I didn't order anything. There, so why are you this, here? this woman that works in Hollywood and she said that she checked into a hotel. I can't remember where the hotel was. Checked into a hotel and I think as she was checking in, there was a guy there and I don't know if they, you know, exchanged glances or whatever. Then she said about like in the middle of the night, somebody was knocking on her door and she's like, I wasn't freaking yeah. expecting anyone. And the guy's knocking. She's like, who's that? Who's that? And he's like, it's me. And she's like, you who? And then he's like, oh, I, we saw each other now when you were checking in. And then she's like, she's like, first of all, how did you know my room? 
So a lot of times, I think the hotel staff, they need to be checked mm. because, yeah, they take money. And if it's not them that's doing it, they, they're taking money from, mm. from people. So um, I think if, again, if your country, if your area, if you're, a, you know, if you have a hotel, if you have a whatever, and you depend on pe- on having guests, you depend on having paying guests, then you need to get your shit together. Mm-hmm. And what was really, really upsetting was how this hotel was trying to do everything in their power to divert any sort of responsibility from them. Mm. And that is a problem. And that is why a whole bunch of people will never stay at that hotel. Nowadays, people want to travel. I've been thinking about staying at this hotel. What do you do? You do a Google search or you do a Twitter search. Mm. or you do. And I'm quite happy that when people now do a search on this hotel, they're going to see a whole bunch of stories. They're going to see mm. her account. I'm glad that it's affected them like this. And I'm I'm really, really glad that, you know, they, they're going to get what they deserve. They tried to say, oh, some people tried to discredit her story, as usual, of course, when a woman comes usual. forward. Somebody was like, oh, why did she post this? She posted a happy picture from um, Zanzibar, I think, when she was there. And they were like, oh, so how can she, how can she say this thing happened to her? And then she posts this picture. I'm sure yeah. it's a man that said that. You know, a lot of times, I, I just I just hope that, um, especially as Africans, first of all, it is, it is expensive as hell to travel within yeah, the continent mad. of Africa for Africans. Mad. It's sometimes cheaper to go to Europe or other parts of the world than to go within Africa. And then you also find that some um, resorts seem to want to attract only white people yep. to their resorts as well. Like this Wairere or whatever it is. When I went on their Instagram page, it was just pictures of white people, white people, white people. I mean, if you were, I feel like, you know, maybe you don't think about things like this, but if you are actually interested in attracting different sorts of tourists, you will put in a healthy mix because people do travel within the mm-hmm. continent of Africa. Black people too. Um, anyway, I just feel like people just, just do your research before you travel. Do your research. Um, and just to wrap up, I did see a statement from the um, uh, Zanzibar Tourism Board saying that they're going to fully investigate the issue. Absolutely. I'm sure that person's probably left the hotel now, but still, you know what, at least that's, should I even say at least that's something? Do, are they actually going to do anything? I hope they do. I hope, I hope so. they do. But I, what I'm, what's the silver lining in all of this for me is the fact that not just Nigerians, I saw a lot of South Africans, a lot of other Africans mm. jumping on this. Mm. And even when I went on TripAdvisor, I saw like a lot of South African names saying, if you value li- if, if you value your life, don't go to this hotel. If you want to be like murdered at night, go to this hotel and everything. Wow. They, scattered, they scattered it. So I <gasps> like the fact that we all came together and we said, what happened here is not right. It's mm. not okay. And we're not going to accept it. Mm. So um, people were able to come together and force this, this hotel to put out a response and to basically you know do something and even more important they forced the Zanzibar tourism board to basically say okay this happened yeah. we acknowledge that this happened because they were trying to be like nothing happened yeah. we acknowledge that this happened and we're going to get to the bottom of this let's see if anything happens all right let's hope so and on that note we shall bid you farewell yeah thank you so much for watching this episode make sure you share with your friends your family your loved ones and people you hate as well yeah uh don't forget to subscribe to our youtube subscribe, channel subscribe subscribe thank subscribe. you and of course if you have any pending life issues that you want us to give our two cents in feel free to do so um, we accept s- fan mail yes send us fan mail i think dm is best yes yes i think yes. dm is best dm us at off air show on instagram and guys send us your issues too we have like a lot of good ladies sending their fan mail mm-hmm. we can we can give advice on guys issues yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i i i i i no 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 i have to we don't say, we don't give good advice no i have to say this say i feel that? like they say that and I feel like more men need to feel more comfortable yeah. with seeking advice. Yes. A lot of times they keep everything inside here. And this and is why women fuck shit live up. longer. Or use it against you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> right here. Yeah. So you're telling our male offer gang members to Dirty. not send in. Yeah, we'll use it against you. Wow, we. Well, send it anyway. Oh <laughs> my God. Good so, luck. Well, so I have a question. So what when a you, goddamn when you, when betrayal. I have a question. So when you Whoa. have. No, 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 I have a question. Like when you when you are confused about what to do with your life, who do you talk they to? They shout to yourself. They shout to the TV screen. Actually, we speak to yourself. Speak to yourself. That's not all we do. Speak oh, to so, so, we so, pray okay. to God. We pray to God. So the last time. Okay, let's just say the last time one of you chopped breakfast, who did you talk to? Dio. Tiki. I spoke to myself. Why is it so fast? It's not the same. It's 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 the same. It's
Accent guys in the shower, like, did they fuck together, man? Oh, no, and no, we no, love no, them, no, man. No, fuck together. Come on, come on. I honestly feel that everybody needs somebody. Or need, I, I, yeah. I, 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 I just want to say shout out That's to my a girls. Lie. Everybody doesn't need So, somebody. no, no. Shout out to my girls That's because you know what? They are there for me. They hear me when I rant and I hear them when they rant too. And I feel like this is why women live longer. Amen. Men keep all this stuff inside. There's nothing wrong. You know what? Yeah. It doesn't mean that you are a pussy. Yo, I think there was Yo, we will tell you. We will tell you. Who are the day? Please, let's know. It's true. Who's the day? Who's the day that's using stuff against you? Whatever, man. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. I don't know what you're talking about, but we'll talk to you. Okay, all right. Anyways, and on that note, again, off air gang members, we're accepting fan mail from our female members and our male members. Yes. Yes. And those in between. Hi, I'm Bimmy. Hi, I'm Tools. If you absolutely love that episode, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just right there. You're not going to yeah. die. We promise. Click just click button. right there. Click, just click. Press the button. Thank press you. It. Subscribe. Press Tell it. your family and friends. Press too. the button. Thank you. Bye. Yeah,